here we are today at the San Francisco Zoo, and we're going to get to visit with some of the wonderful owls they have here at the zoo. Can you tell us a little bit about this owl? I would love to. This is Darwin. He is a northern saw wet owl. Um, this is a species you don't see a lot in the Bay Area, but you can see. They're common throughout the United States and up into Canada. Um, this little guy here you might see, he has an injured wing. He was hit by a snowmobile outside of um, Salt Lake City in Utah and can't fly. So he's one of the many rehab birds we have here at the zoo that we use for education programs. A lot of people think he's a baby owl. He's not. He's actually a full-grown adult male. Uh, they're just one of the smallest species of owls that you'll find in the United States. So there's two other species that are smaller, but he is very little, very little. Can we meet another one of your owls? Yeah, definitely. Great. Let's meet um, another local species. So this is Archimedes. He's a great horned owl. Um, he's a youngster. We just got him a couple of years ago. He was also a rescue. All these animals are non-releasable, and oftentimes they have an injury that precludes them from being released. So we can't always have them flying around in aviaries because a lot of them can't fly. So we try to give them a hiding spot if they want it. Like this guy really likes to hide in the grasses, the tall grasses next to him. So we offer that opportunity. Um, we provide a couple of aviaries, which the flighted birds rotate into so that they have the ability to fly around during the day. Although because he's nocturnal, he mostly just hides in the grass, but still he has the opportunity. And then they have large enclosures that they have at night where they can fly around. So, you know, we try to give them a good quality of life. It can't be the same as the wild, but these guys are ambassadors to teach people about the wild birds so that people can understand them better, have a better respect for them, and then hopefully know what they're looking for when they go out to try to find those birds in the wild. So this is Athena. She's a Eurasian eagle owl. And these guys are found throughout Europe and Asia. Um, they're closely related to our native great horned owl. Oh, You'll really? notice they have the similar feather tufts. Oh, yes. um, those aren't ears. That actually helps them to camouflage uh -huh. and break up their image when they're in trees makes them look a lot bigger too. Wow. Not that she needs to look much bigger. She's one of the largest Is species of owls in the world. So mm -hmm. they can get up to nine or 10 pounds, the females wow. in some areas. There are a couple owls that are around that same range that mm -hmm. might be bigger, mm -hmm. gray gray owls, burrows eagle owls, but she's definitely in that um, largest owl category. Well, I've also noticed her turning her head and I was doing a little bit of reading before this and noticed something that said owls have 14 vertebrae in their neck. Yes, is that true? It is true. Wow. And so we have seven, they mm -hmm. have 14. So they have a lot more flexibility in their neck. They can't go in a complete circle, but they can turn, if we're looking forward, they can turn their head all the way to about here. So then they wow. have to kind of go back around this way in order to keep that's, going. But it, it, it looks, the illusion is that they can go all the way around. Yeah. And that's really important. If they're sitting in trees or looking around, they don't want to have to move their body mm -hmm. to look for food or potential predators. And so they have that extra flexibility to help them hunt. So um, Wilbur is a barn owl. You're probably familiar with the West Nile virus um, that has come to the United States oh, yes. the past five mm -hmm. to ten years. And Wilbur is actually, a, I guess, a victim of that. Oh. He, um, as a fledgling about four years ago, he was found dehydrated. It was during our, we had a little heat wave mm -hmm. come through. And he and a bunch of other fledglings were picked up and brought to a rehab center. He wasn't responding as well to treatment. He wasn't. Mm -hmm. He wasn't as active as the other fledglings, and so they tested his blood, and he came back positive for West Nile virus. And that's oh. a, a neurological, potential neurological problem, and so it affects the ability to fly and just basic behavior. And he did show some of those signs, um, this kind of tremoring a lot and mm. difficulty eating and kind of stargazing. Mm -hmm. And so they decided he was not going to be releasable. So he's been with us since he was a youngster, um, which is nice because we have the ability then to talk a little bit about disease and how oh, that sure. affects wildlife. Because a lot of people think of disease just as human issues. Sure. And it's really, yes. I mean, it's a major problem for, for wildlife. So Jesse, are any of the owls that we've talked about in the Bay Area, are any of them endangered species? Um, none of the more common animals, like the barn owl, are, are endangered. Barn owls and great horned owls are, are very stable uh, mm -hmm. population. In fact, in a lot of places they're growing because oh. people are encouraging them to come out. So if uh, any of our uh, viewers would like to go out and uh, go someplace at night and perhaps see some owls, could you make some recommendations? Golden Gate Park has great horned owls and barn owls, so ah. that would be a good place. You want to go at dusk, not quite dark because okay. you, you might miss them coming out of the trees. Okay. Um, 
There's some areas in the North Bay, like Skaggs Island, which mm -hmm. you can see short-eared owls, and mm -hmm. there's a number of places where long-eared owls come to migrate in the Tennessee Valley area. Okay. But I live in Oakland, and I actually have a breeding pair of owls in my backyard really? that I see seasonally coming. So you can see them pretty much That's anywhere great. in the Bay Area. Um, there are some websites you can look on if you do some searches mm -hmm. for owls, and mm -hmm. they'll tell you if there's something interesting, like migrations of long-eared mm -hmm. owls or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. coming through. Um, and then down in the South Bay, I mentioned there's some burrowing owl areas. That's and I don't specifically know exact locations, but I know you can find them online. Great, great. But definitely, you know, you want to be cautious around owls. Um, they can be a little aggressive if they mm -hmm. have young in the nest. Oh, and you want, to, you want to be careful about them because they are a native species which is protected. So you can't just approach them. So you want to be cautious and quiet, go at dusk, and you might be lucky enough to see one.